today to your grade eight learners of geography. I'm sure you guys and girls are keeping safe and well. We're still focusing on the factors influencing temperature and rainfall. I'm now gonna go through with you height above sea level with regards to temperature and rainfall. If you look at your screen, height above sea level or altitude, note the table. Looking at Durban, Durban's along the coast, showing an altitude of four meters, followed by Peter Meritzburg, 608 meters away from the coastline. As you move further up, Bloemfontein showing an altitude of 1,400 meters. This is quite far away from the coastline, as you can notice in the image. Now, learners, this table shows the effect of altitude on temperature. The data on the table shows that height above sea level influences temperature. The greater the altitude, the lower the temperature. Often high mountains have snow only on their peaks. The atmosphere is warmer near the ground. The sun's rays enter the upper atmosphere as short wave rays that the atmosphere cannot absorb. When they hit the ground, they heat the ground surface. The heated ground surface re-radiates heat as long wave rays which can be absorbed by the air. These rays heat the air from below. This is why air temperature decreases as altitude increases. Now learners, most of the wettest places in the world are in mountainous areas. With regards to temperature, the higher you go, the lower the temperature or the colder it becomes. Air temperature depends on air density. Air at higher altitudes is less dense and colder. Air at lower altitudes is more dense and warmer. The general rule is for every 1,000 meters increase in latitude, altitude, sorry, altitude, the temperature drops by 6,5 degrees Celsius. The photo below, as you can see up on your screen, shows the world's highest mountain, which is called Mount Everest. Its height is 8,848 meters above sea level. It is covered with ice. Sure, guys, you can notice that on your screen, the ice on the snow top. Learners, with regards to factors influencing rainfall, the higher the altitude, the cooler it becomes, or the lower the temperature. Cooling moisture condenses and forms rain droplets. Therefore, mountainous areas receive more rainfall than flat and lower areas. Note this pic below, dear learners, Mount Kilimanjaro. This is Africa's highest mountain. I'm sure you guys are aware of that. And it sits at 5,895 meters above sea level. Its peaks are often snow covered, as you can note in the image. My dear learners, there's an activity that follows which I'd like for you to attempt.
Thank you. Take care.